In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that allows you to scrape essentially any website on the internet and import the data from that website into a clay table to enrich for an email campaign or for whatever use case you have in mind. Without further ado, I'm going to walk you through the clay Chrome extension, how it works and how to use it for incredible data results. All right. So as you can see, I am on built ins 2024 best midsize places to work list in Seattle, Washington for this case. And I wanted to show you just an example of a website that is very easy easily scrapable with the clay chrome extension if you don't have the clay chrome extension all you have to do is go to the chrome store and just look up clay and you will see it pop up right here all you gotta do is add it to chrome from there and you can go ahead and start using it now i will say as a disclaimer there are some websites that you cannot scrape with the chrome extension there are several like crunchbase or linkedin that i will have scrape blockers implemented onto their website that don't allow you to scrape the site this tool should allow you to scrape way more websites than a conventional scraper would allow so back to this web page that we're on on this list let's Let's say we want to scrape the logo, the name, the industry, and the about, and maybe even the company page as well for these companies. And there's a hundred of them. What we're going to do is just go ahead and click on this Chrome extension right here. And you'll see that it's going to load recipes. And there's actually an auto detected list already of a lot of the information that we're looking for. But let's say for the sake of this example, we don't want to use the auto detected list and we want to select the data ourselves. We of course just go to the select data tab right here and then create recipe and select data. From there, we're going to click select data to add from page select a list and from there we're going to select two of the same attributes from different items in the list so i selected the company name right here i'm going to select the company name right here as well from there the chrome extension will auto detect that this is a list and you've selected two attributes from it and next what we're going to want to do is select the actual list items and import them into clay so first let's scrape the company name we're going to click select list item we're going to click on here and you'll see that it extracted the data which is the company name in this case and we're going to name this company name. All you got to do from there is add the attribute. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that a hundred of these company names are automatically scraped in the clay Chrome extension. From there, we can go ahead and scrape their industry like this. We'll call this industry. We'll scrape their company description, and you can even scrape images and links. So if I wanted to click on here, go down to image right here, it will actually take their logo and we can put their logo into this list too. And you can see it's all auto populating as I do this. From there, what we can do is we can also scrape the page. So you can see this link section right below where the name is of the company and we click on it and then just go down to link, it will actually give us the URL that it directs to as well. So we can then add the attribute from there and voila, we now have a massive list of all the companies, all of the links and everything we're looking for. So next, what we can actually do is save the changes and we can add this data to our clay workspace. So it, once we click add, it will auto add all these companies automatically. So give it just a second. And we'll be able to see that. All right, so they've all been added. It seems like the logo had an error scraping, but for now we will leave that alone. So it seems like due to a animation that happens every time I scroll down to the new logos, you can see it happening as I'm doing it kind of quickly right down here. It is not able to detect all of the logos, but in this case, we don't really need it. So let's go ahead and delete that column. So now that we've scraped all of that data, let's say we want to find more information on the company, but it's not available on this initial list. Well, you can see here that we now have the individual company pages from this list as well. So what if we wanted to scrape all of those? So all we have to do is click on one of these examples and you can see that all this information pops up here. So let's say I wanted to go and scrape this individual page instead of a list. I can use the clay Chrome extension to this exact same thing as well. All you have to do is go to select data. And in this case, instead of say select a list, we go with select a single attribute. Let's say we want to find their headquarters we want to select their local employees and we'll go ahead and do their total employees as our last example. From there, you can see that there's this little section up here that says match recipes to all URLs like builtin.com slash company slash Magnite. If you click on this, we can actually go ahead and add something pretty interesting. So instead of having Magnite here, we're going to delete the Magnite section because everything is structured as in this table, you can see built-in slash company slash the company name. So instead of that, we're going to put a colon and we're going to put company name and we're going to save our changes. When we save this, you'll see that this will auto scrape for every single one of the companies that we're looking to scrape. Once we've saved this data, which we have right here, we can actually go over to click, click on enrich data, and we'll type in data from page. And you'll see this find data from page section right here. From there, all we need is the URL, which will be in this field section with all of our company pages. And we're going to run the first 10 rows and you'll see it'll actually be able to scrape every piece of data we selected from all of these company pages instead of just the one that we did for our formatting. All right. So once the integration is done running, you can actually click on here and you'll be able to see all the information from that page that you scraped. So it's an incredibly useful way of programmatically scraping individual pages and lists at the same time. From there, you can do a ton of things within Clay. I'll do a couple examples just for fun, but we can use Google to go ahead and find their LinkedIn using their company name. 
So we just got to type in company name in LinkedIn on the Google Perform search. I know I'm running through this quickly. It's just to show you some of Clay's, you know, really cool features. From there, you can actually use that result. You can go ahead and use that information to go scrape their company LinkedIn. So once we pop out their LinkedIn right here, we can even go ahead and enrich the company using the link that we found. From there, we could even go ahead and find people that work for that company using the find contacts at company integration. And we can look for the founder, the co-founder, the CEO, and the president of the company. We can go ahead and give that a try. And from there, we could even pop out one of these people theoretically and go ahead and actually find their email based on just their name and the company's website. And as this integration runs, you can see it's finding the emails of the people who work for the company that we look for. I just wanted to show you a quick flow as to what you can do all from just scraping one web page with the Clay Chrome extension. And there are a ton of videos going into how to actually use Clay on this channel, and I would highly recommend checking them out. But I hope that this still you some value on how to use the clay chrome extension all right and that is it i hope this video brought you some value and you can now scrape whatever website you were hoping to scrape for a while if you enjoyed the video or you want to try clay feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the link in the description to give clay a shot highly recommend doing it it is such a powerful tool and they give you a thousand free credits for just signing up they don't have to pay anything so yeah hopefully that was helpful and uh happy prospecting